Hey guys, so you're wondering if your dry eyes can be helped by taking fish oil? It certainly can. I'm going to tell you how. Stick around. Before we get started, if you like what I have to say, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed but you want to consider subscribing to the channel, hit the subscribe button. All right, let's get at it. All right, guys, so you have dry eyes, and it can be from the fact that you're on a computer all day, and we tend to stare when we're on the computer. It can be because of allergies. It can be because maybe you're a woman and you're over 50 and you're having some hormonal changes that causes your eyes to be dry. You could be a contact lens wearer, or maybe you have an underlying health issue that causes your eyes to be dry. All of those things can be <clears throat> all of the dryness with all of those scenarios can be diminished with fish oil. So I'm going to go over why, I'm going to go over how, and then I'm going to go over what I believe is the best fish oil to take. So maybe you're wondering why you should be taking my advice. Well, I have 25 years of experience as an optometrist. I am a certified nutritional specialist as well, which makes me one of eight optometrists in the world that are certified nutritional specialists. So that's pretty cool. I have formulated fish oil for other companies and we've been very successful with that. And I have thousands of my patients taking fish oil and I've had a lot of feedback because I've been telling them to take it for 20 years. So that's why I think I can be standing here in front of you and explaining why I think you should be taking it. All right guys, so dry eye is an inflammatory disease, meaning that at a cellular level, we have inflammation in our body and dry eyes has to do with the amount of inflammation in our body. And if we can decrease that inflammation, we can decrease the dryness. So a lot of the information I got early on was from Dr. Barry Sears, S-E-A-R-S. -E he wrote the Zone Diet, he wrote the Omega Zone book, and he is an omega-3 fatty acid researcher. So early on, reading all of Dr. Sears' um, books, his articles, it became very clear that there's something in our system called arachidonic acid. And arachidonic acid is pro-inflammatory, meaning that it's going to cause inflammation in, the, in our system. And... Dr. Sears will tell you that if the arachidonic acid levels get too high, the inflammation gets too high and our bodies start to, our genes start to express in such a way that we're going to start getting the diseases that we are predisposed to get. And it is the EPA in the fish oil that when we ingest it, brings down the arachidonic acid in our system and can slowly reverse that disease. But with dry eyes, it definitely works. And I've seen it work time and time again with all my contact lens patients, all my dry eye patients, that taking omega-3 fatty acids will definitely decrease the arachidonic acid. There are tests that you can have, there are blood tests that you can have to test how much your arachidonic acid to EPA level is. And it works amazingly. So there are many different types of omega fatty acids. There's omega-3s, there's omega-6s, there's omega... They're the two most popular. Then there's 7s and 9s. The omega-3s are the ones that are the most anti-inflammatory. And that's what we focus on. The EPA and the DHA that's in the omega-3s. The EPA, you want to think, is really good for your cardiovascular system and your dry eyes. And the DHA, although will enhance the dry eyes or the, the tear film to decrease the dry eyes. The DHA is more of a neuroprotectant around the nerves, around the fat around the nerves. So there's some really, really good information out there on studies in the last 20 years on omega-3s for a myriad of different health issues that we are not gonna go into today. But dry eyes is definitely one of them. And when it comes to optometry, if you ask any optometrist what they can do for dry eyes, omega-3s are one of them. So then you have to ask, which one? And before I get to which one, it's important to know that 
there's a lot of good fish oils out there and there's probably a lot of not so good fish oils out there. And I'm going to tell you what I want you to know when you go to buy a bottle to look at it and figure out if it's something that you should be taking or not. So when you look at the back of the bottle of the fish oil, you're going to see something called EPA and DHA. And they're going to be listed in milligrams. And then there's going to be the serving size. So what I like you to do is pick a fish oil where the EPA and the DHA added together is at least half of the serving size. It's a pretty simple formula. A lot of other people will give you crazy difficult formulas, but this is a decent formula for getting a good fish oil. So let's say you look at it and you go, oh, it's got 600 uh, milligrams of EPA, 400 of DHA, which is 1,000 in a 2,000 milligram uh, serving size. Well, there you have it. You have 1,000 EPA and DHA. Out of 2,000, you're running right at 50%. Anything at 50% or higher will be a good fish oil. All right, guys, so you're wondering, is that it? And there's a couple other things. One is make sure you're not taking a combo of like omega-3, 6, and 9. The omega-6s, some of them are really good. Some of them are, are anti-inflammatory, but they need to be really specific omega-6s. And just grabbing an omega-3, 6, 9 is not going to do that. You're probably going to be getting pro-inflammatory omega-6s. For example, all the, all the food cooked in fast food places, they're all cooked in omega-6s, which is why they're so pro-inflammatory, which can cause tons of issues within the body over time from eating that junk. But we're not going to go into that today. I want to tell you which one I would suggest as a fish oil. It's right behind me. It's my life extension. They have a great fish oil and it's just go into Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below. Type in omega-3 fish oil life extension. You're going to find this product. It also has sesame lignans and the sesame lignans are very important because when you ingest the fish oil and all these um, this, this myriad of things that happen in your body, it, while it's creating these anti-inflammatory mediators, if insulin is present at any point, then more arachidonic acid could be made. So what happens is the sesame lignans knock that leg of the... Um, of the waterfall effect out and it becomes more of an anti-inflammatory product. The other thing is it also has um, olive fruit extract which is actually a omega, an omega-6 which is anti-inflammatory. So again more anti-inflammatory effects than someone else's fish oil. And I know Life Extension, I know how this is made, I know how they are detail freaks to make this product as best they possibly can without having any issues. So that's it. Taking this fish oil, I like 2,000 milligrams a day to decrease your dry eyes. It takes a good four to six weeks of taking it to build up in your system. So definitely stick to it. Some people ask me, you know, when's the best time of day to take it? It really doesn't matter. Take all 2,000 milligrams at the same time, which is usually two of their pills. It might be more as I look at it. But take them before a meal is probably the best time to take them. Some people really are sensitive to the taste of them if they repeat. And by, by taking them before you eat, usually keeps them down and at bay. But the... Um, the benefits to taking fish oil is just amazing. Dry eyes is just one small piece of it that you'll notice. I um, I notice my skin is so much better with them, with, with taking the fish oil. And I've had knee issues. I've had other issues that have really been helped with the omega-3s. You'll also see krill out there. And some people will say, well, I, take, I don't take omega-3s, but I take krill, and that's going to help. Well, it may help your joints somewhat, and, and krill has been shown to, but it's not going to help the dry eyes. So definitely take the omega-3s. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing from them, from you, and answering your comments. And again, if you like what I had to say, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. Until next time, take care.